What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of the Rays video. I was half expecting the PV to drop tonight because um, if it were to drop on Thursday night slash Friday, they usually don't post the previews on the weekends. If you aren't aware of how this kind of works, they'll, but like three or four days before an event drops, they'll post on Twitter each day a different character for the event and kind of what they're getting. They'll show their like mirage artwork and their five star uh, and stuff like that. So, uh, they usually need to leave at least three or four days, uh, ahead of when the event would drop in order to do that. And since the, whatever the next event is going to be is going to drop on next Monday, which will be the 16th, uh, they would have to, Friday would almost be too late unless they're going to double up over the weekend. Uh, they did drop it tonight though, obviously, so nothing to worry about that. So we're going to go over everything. I've already watched it. Um, but let's just go over everything one by one. It is a short, I mean, I say it's a shorter PV, but it's still almost three minutes long. It's shorter in terms of the content we're getting. It's really only for two events, because obviously the Gintama event will go until the 16th. Then another event will take over, presumably on the 16th, and go until, how many days are in this month? Uh, and we'll go until the 31st. Um, or even shorter than that, it may just go until, like, when the story chapter drops, but usually an event will go uh, from the middle of the month to the very end of the month, and then the end of the month event uh, will bleed into uh, next month. But uh, let's take a look at what we got. Over 220 characters in the game, and we are still building. Our 17th set of normal spirit gears, Rita, Shion, and Alfin are going to be our next batch of spirit gears. Obviously, Rita feels a little off here, um, but I'm guessing they didn't want to just do completely a rise. Like, they could have totally just thrown Rinwell in there, uh, I guess, but I guess they wanted to, you know, mix it up a little bit. Uh, probably for the simple fact of making it a rainbow event, because I'm sure they expect not everyone has been able to summon uh, a ton for the Arise characters, since all six characters were added in the span of just a few months. Um, so putting Rita... In, I mean, I would have preferred someone from a game that still needs more characters. Obviously, Vesperia, this is going to make five characters. I'm still happy about Rita getting a spirit gear. That's great. But... I do kind of wish it was a different game. Like, Berseria, for example, still only has one Spirit Gear. It's literally just Velvet, and that's it. Um, Zestiria already has three, so I'm okay with holding off on them. But then you've got, like, most of the other titles really only have a few. I mean, Fantasia only has Cress and Mint. Uh, well, I guess we have uh, Douse as well in terms of a villain, so that's three there. Uh, Destiny just has... What? Stan and Leon, and that's it? Um, Destiny 2 just has Kyle and Riala. Uh, so they definitely could have done another game, but it is what it is. Um, it's still a very good batch of characters, and plus this does make it, like I said, makes it rainbow. So uh, that'll be good for people to kind of get through this. So it looks like Rita is going to have uh, a Shadow Spirit gear. So for Darkness, uh, that's what it kind of looks like to me. Shion, I'm guessing Celsius. Um, and then for Alfin, Alfin is hard for me to tell because obviously his sword is fire. So my immediate thought is to think fire, so Ifrit. But uh, his glove up here looks almost light uh, attribute. So it's really hard to say like right off of uh, looking at it. But I'm going to guess it's fire um, just on how it looks and everything. And it looks like because the clothes aren't burning... It doesn't look. I mean, it looks a little bit. You can see the flames, but I don't know if that's actually on the glove. So I'm wondering Alfin's spirit gear. You know, if he if he is wielding a free, that might stop him from being able to uh, be burned, uh, which would definitely benefit him in the long run. So a very cool batch there. And we already knew about Alfin's spirit gear look because it was spoiled uh, in the fifth anniversary like loading screen artwork. All right, next, this is going to be a big spoiler if you've not... Well, I'm sure most people uh, haven't played Tales of Destiny 2 since it's only been released in Japan. But this is basically like the uh, end of the game. Uh, 
Long story short, Kyle is getting a final mirror art, as you're going to see here in a second. That's what most of this trailer is, is just showing this. You got the final battle kind of right here. And then you get the final scene of the game. That is the one thing about these final mirror darts. They are going to spoil the ends of the game. And there's our actual artwork for it. Let's see the mirror art. That looks really cool. I really like how that looks. So, obviously, first things first, we're getting Kyle. Kyle is getting a final mirror art. Then, uh, we have Lilith and Rimmel getting a crossover mirror art. So, it'll be both of them that can equip this, which is nice because neither one of them has a second mirror art yet. Uh, so pulling this would be great for people who want to have stuff for both of them. Um, and this is also a first, you know, usually they save the crossover mirror darts for like separate stuff. Uh, usually it's going to be a crossover mirror dart banner, but I like that they're doing this here. And we're not done yet. We got one more thing. We have an overray for Judas coming. So that is a very stacked banner, by the way. Four characters and three new mirror darts. And then finally right here, they basically say a notice. A special event is going to be coming soon. Um, no idea what that's going to be. Um, it's kind of weird that they would kind of tease it like that. Because, I mean, what to really expect? Is it going to be like the end of the arc? Um, is this talking about the possible Crestoria stuff coming to the game? Which we know will probably come in July. Um, it's hard to say, but they are teasing something big coming to the game. Uh, so I don't think it's going to be a general collab because usually they would just like say that they're like, oh, new collaboration coming. So this seems like it's going to be a raise focused event, uh, of some kind. So that's pretty exciting, whatever it's going to be. So if you are going to summon, uh, just be wary that there could be some surprise that comes to the game, but, uh, hard to really say at this point. But besides that, pretty good month. You know, on top of the Gintama stuff, we got Gintama, we got Spirit Gears, and then we've got a Destiny. It seems like, yeah, like every month is going to have a final mirror dart for somebody. Um, when they when the anniversary first started, we got Luke. Then the second month of the anniversary, we got Asbel. And then now we're getting Kyle. So it does seem like they're going to go through the main protagonist first, which makes sense. Um, so if there is a specific character you know you're going to want to summon for, and now would be the time to save, because who knows who they're going to throw in next, you know, uh, they could, re they could go for the popular ones, you know, like Yuri or Lloyd, or they could go, you know, like, obviously for us in the West, Kyle isn't as popular because, you know, we never got his game, but obviously in Japan it's a little different, but, uh, I still feel like Kyle is more of kind of like a mid-tier, like, popularity in terms of the protagonists, like, I don't think in terms of, and I'm not saying like he's a bad character or anything. I'm just saying from what I've seen, you know, about how deep into things the Japanese fan base gets, I can kind of tell which characters are more popular than others. You know, I feel like the top tier of stuff is like, um, you know, Cress. Uh, well, maybe not even Cress, like Lloyd, Yuri, uh, now, now obviously Alfin because he's the newest protagonist. Saray and Velvet, I feel like are pretty up there as well. Um, but yeah, so just do be aware if there's a protagonist you're waiting for, like me, for example, if there's a, Lo when the Lloyd one comes out, 100% summoning, um, if Yuri, Yuri comes out, I'll probably try to summon a little bit, but I'm not like super in need of his, but Lloyd is 100% I'm summoning till I get it. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think down below about this month. Let me know if you're going to be summoning for anything. Uh, I expect that the Spirit Gear event will probably be first. It might start before or after Gintama leaves. 
Because I think at this point, um, actually no, because I mean, if you're going to go for the full three million, I've already gotten the full three million on the Gintama event, but I know a lot of people probably wouldn't have by now. And I did actually end up through tickets and through my guaranteed thing. Uh, I did end up walking away with both of the new collab uh, mirror arts uh, for the new character. So now the only Gintama character I don't have a mirror jar for is Sogo, but I'm not going to chase his right now. Uh, I'm kind of in saving mode right now until I see what's going to come for the month of June and beyond. But that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.